producer Jerry Day noticed the same thing over on the Republican side of things. Just so you know how this works, put in any two search terms and you will instantly see a chart showing the relative web traffic comparing the two search terms all the way back to January 2004. Google Trends puts football in blue and basketball in red. This chart shows that football gets two to four times the web search volume that basketball does. And you can see the web searches surge every year in the logical seasonal patterns for both sports. Down here it shows us the comparative tracking of news media hits on the two topics. You see similar seasonal patterns, but the media coverage rises more steadily towards the final playoffs, while the fan interest reacts more sharply around the times of the key games. Ron Paul was twice as popular as Barack Obama from April through November of 2007. So how did Obama get this huge spike in December against Ron Paul? The chart below says that the mainstream news media gave Obama eight or ten times as much news coverage as they gave Ron Paul. When the media started their Obama love fest, Ron Paul was three times as popular as Obama. Relentless and lopsided media hammering for a few months manages to flip that. Notice that the media chart is squashed vertically. Obama's popularity went up about the same percent as his media coverage. But Ron Paul's internet popularity has consistently been three to five times greater than the amount of his news media coverage. This chart clearly shows that the media has consistently underreported Ron Paul, but he remains massively popular on the internet anyway. Just for a last quick reality check, let's look at Ron Paul against the other candidates on Google searches. Here's Hillary Clinton in blue. Just like Obama, she trailed badly against Ron Paul through most of 2007 until the broadcast media put huge preferential push behind Clinton in December of that year as the media all but abandoned Ron Paul. Hillary Clinton's media coverage has been a little less than Obama's and her popularity slipped below Obama in perfect synchronization with that difference in broadcast coverage. These charts are very accurate in tracking general popularity relative to media coverage, as you see exactly where Obama's blue line climbed past Hillary at the same general time here as he pulled ahead in the primaries. Most political polls, like Harris or Gallup, have a sample size of two or three thousand a few times a year. Google searches are in the millions every day. Media polls can't touch this for accuracy. And obviously, looking at Ron Paul's actual popularity, bias plays a very large part in media polling. Media polls reported him in single digits while he skyrocketed in popularity all over the web above all other candidates. I want to point out that this may not be deliberate. They may honestly believe that they're getting better data. Frank Newport may honestly believe that he was right to throw out the results of the earlier poll which was deleted from Gallup's website, by the way. The news organizations may honestly believe that Ron Paul's internet hits were anomalous and not an indication of any problem with their polls, even after his double-digit results in the primaries and caucuses went against his single-digit results in the news polls. This is nothing new. In 2004, John Kerry's results went completely counter to what the polls were saying, and once again, a lot of them were attributing this to voter fraud. But with the exception of Ohio, where fraud was actually found and resulted in two convictions, there just isn't any evidence to say that this is anything other than a widespread problem with presidential polls. It becomes clear that this is just a desperate, after-the-fact explanation for why they were wrong and any poll that doesn't come out the way they expect, they assume to be wrong and just throw it out. Like we've seen with lots of other issues, the human capacity for self-deception is staggering. The question is not whether, but who is controlling media content and why. When the mainstream print and broadcast media isn't telling us who to vote for and we're allowed to talk among ourselves, we make very different choices than what the media tells us to make. It's a little conspiratorial, but he has a point. The media can affect the results of an election just by reporting the popularity of the candidates. 
people want to support a more popular candidate over a less popular one. So by simply saying a candidate is more popular, you can make a candidate more popular. The news media has a huge responsibility not to abuse that power, but not only do they not put protections in place against it, they seem completely unconcerned about it at all. Here's the real bogosity with election polls. It's not just that they're inaccurate. It's not just that they're not scientific. It's not just that they can be used as tools of bias or manipulation. The bogosity is that they exist at all. Why do you need to know how popular a candidate is in order to decide if he's worth voting for? Do you base your opinions on what other people think? Or do you have a brain in your head that allows you to think for yourself consider the issues and come to a conclusion all on your own. Do you have a moral code that says it's better to do what's right than what's popular? If the media were really doing their job, they just report on the candidates and their policies, their histories and their scandals, and leave everything else out of it. We can make the decisions for ourselves as a free society. You know who allows this outrage? You do. You know how you can stop it? By complaining to MSNBC, CNN, USA Today, Gallup, and sending Frank Newport your emails of concern and saying, stop this nonsense. Stop it now because it's ridiculous. That's what you can do. It's true. The media is a reflection of us. They do what they do because they think we want it, or they think we'll respond to it, or go along with it. And we do. Like a battered spouse, we keep coming back for more and absolving them of all blame. Until we, the people, let the news media know that we don't like what they're doing and demand a change, they're going to keep doing the same thing. So really, it's all up to us. Well, what's it going to be?